Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well. I've just got back from yoga and I thought I would um, just film my kind of cozy night in. I feel like I really need to have a quiet night in looking after myself, like a bit of a self-love, self-care kind of evening. And I just felt like filming it. It's completely raw, I haven't planned anything. It's not going to be all artsy and cute the way I'm filming this. <laughs> This is literally just me at home doing my thing. Um, so I've been on my yoga course for, how long has it been? Well, since September, it's been a few weeks, but on and off. It's like a um, less intensive version, I suppose. It's not like the intensive 200 hours in one month. I've opted to do the one that is spread out over long weekends between September and December. And I'm officially halfway through, which is so exciting. I think I have literally done just over 100 hours um, as of this evening. So it's really exciting, it's gone so fast though. Um, it's basically my yoga teacher training course. So I will be a qualified yoga teacher by the end of it. Um, and it's 200 hours. And it's in Power Vinyasa flow um, because my favorite yoga studio is the Power Yoga Company and that's where I've been practicing and my favorite teachers are there and so it only felt natural to learn to become a yoga teacher from them. So my YTT is with PYC, yoga teacher training with Power Yoga Company, um, which is really fun and I'm loving it. It is exhausting though, I'm not gonna lie. It's not just like, you know, doing nice yoga practices all day. It's like 10 hours a day, Thursday to Sunday. And um, a lot of it is theory, it's anatomy, it's philosophy. Absolutely fascinating. But as you can imagine, it gets to Sunday evening. Um, what time is it? I think it's like 7.30 or eight or something. Um, just got in and it is like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> so yeah, just having a bit of a quiet wellness evening. I am first of all going to put some dinner on, in the oven before we do anything and I actually don't need to cook or do anything because I don't know if you know the detox kitchen in London, they like really lovely little cafes that I used to go to back when life was normal and um, they have kindly sent me their immunity plan. I know it's called the detox kitchen and I posted it on my Instagram and a lot of people are like is this a detox juice cleanse or something, it's not, it's just the cafe is called the detox kitchen um, and they do a lot of vegan food so it works really well for me but they have just started this like immunity program two-week program I think it ends actually today I think today is literally the last day and um, they've been delivering me their boxes every morning and it has your breakfast lunch dinner snacks like everything you need in there so that's been actually so helpful um, during <laughs> yoga course because I haven't had to worry about food so yeah first of all I am going to pick one of those dinners to put in the oven because I actually didn't have Fridays so I've actually got a choice <laughs> right so we have the spiced squash and lentil stew or the mushroom pot pie and I've already made up my mind it's this one this looks so so good so I'm gonna put that in the oven how long does it need only 15 minutes that's good it's really good they come like with all your little things on the side as well pudding can't believe I've made these last actually for two days. Um, so I'll have one of those afterwards. So yeah, let's get this in. 180, I'm just gonna chuck it in. Oh, there's a pot in there, that's new. Where's, I oh, Kelly must have dropped off this pot. Okay, this is going in. That basically just proves that I haven't been cooking since being here, it's mad. Let's see if I can set an alarm. There we go, 15 minutes. Yeah, I you know how much I love cooking and you know, creating my own recipes all the time but because of the yoga course and work and everything and launching smart skin i've hardly been here um so i haven't had to cook <laughs> and i've been on the immunity program i'm kind of actually excited to get cooking in this kitchen i've made a few things and it has been lovely but yeah not as much as i would normally like sorry if my flat i feel like it's really messy is it oh no i've actually tidied this section if you look over there it's crazy i'm going to show you quickly yeah that's like crazy corner right now and I've randomly got a bike up here awesome don't know what to do with that because I can't have it on the street because it will get stolen within five minutes what I might do while that's cooking in the oven um I'm gonna put a face mask on and I'm gonna light some candles this is like my ritual every night I just light my candles in every room um 
just creates such a nice vibe. I get so excited about, am I even in this frame? I'm just like chatting away. Forgot that you're actually on camera and not really here in real life. Um, I just, I get so excited to come back to this flat. I'm gonna burn my finger any second. Ah, didn't make it. Right, need to concentrate while I'm playing with fire. There we go. Look how cozy this looks. This is my neon candle, by the way. I don't know if you can see. It's the bedtime hero, but I light it during the day as well, just because it's so nice. Um, I'm so happy in this flat. Like, I genuinely get so excited to come back home. It feels so cozy. Um, yeah, I feel very... There's a really lovely energy about it, um, which is lovely. And I've just been, yeah, lighting my candles most evenings that I'm in. And I've got my pink Himalayan salt lamp as well that I light. It's over there. I've got one in the bedroom as well. They, um, I don't know if you know much about the salt lamps, but they are, not only are they like lovely to look at, let's, let's point you over here so you can see. Can you see that? It might be easier if I turn this off. You can see it better there. So it's a pink Himalayan salt lamp and they are, they look gorgeous, but they, I meant to create a really lovely energy in the room and they like absorb the negative energy or like I don't I literally don't know what I'm talking about but I did google it the other day so I can't believe I've forgotten already but I think essentially they're meant to purify the air and they're very good if you have allergies as well by the way um yeah that's what I do with my lamp this is a mint tea and this one is by yogi tea and it says on the label only with self-respect you can respect others that's really similar to what i was saying i think in my last video about you only will love others well if you love yourself so like the better you love yourself the better you love others basically similar with self-respect so let's um run the bath and in the meantime i will put my face mask on Welcome to my bathroom. I don't know if you've ever seen this bathroom before. I don't think I've filmed it before. Um, right, bath is going on. I've got all of my Smart Skin products here. These are obviously the products that you've seen from the launch. These are secret potential ones for the future, but of course I'm gonna go for my Miracle Meta Mask tonight. It's too loud in there, so we will come through to you the lounge again this is such a random video i feel like if you are watching this video um first time you've been on my channel you're probably like what is going on this is such a random <laughs> just like basic video and you're right it is um but sometimes i just think the unpolished videos are the best you know when they're unplanned so this is the miracle meta mask from Smart Skin, should be good and actually show you the product. There we go, so we've got the olive and camellia in there and this one has glycolic acid, so it's uh, cell regenerative. So I'm just gonna put that on. I've never done a face mask just sat in my lounge like this. I say it's like real, uh, this video. I would normally absolutely do this in the bathroom, but it was too loud with the tap on, so there we go. And so yeah, this is cell regenerative, so I definitely would wear an SPF all day tomorrow, even if it's overcast, just because whenever you have quite, it's not an intense exfoliation, but it is an exfoliation. It's removing the top layer of the skin, like the dead skin cells. So your skin is going to be more sensitive. And whenever you use AHAs, it's always a good idea to use an SPF the next day. I mean, it's a good idea to use an SPF all the time, right? I literally can't see what I'm doing. I'm just like rubbing a mask onto my face while talking really seriously. And you're probably like, what is this girl doing? Um, have I done it right? I literally can't see even through the camera. And, oh, I should say, if you've never used this product before, you can feel it actively working on your skin because it warms. Like my skin right now, I can feel it, it's warming up, which is amazing. It's such a lovely feeling because I love it when you can feel a product actually working on the skin. It's actually the glycerin that is creating that warming sensation because what it's doing is sucking out all of the moisture from the oxygen like in the air around you and it sucks it all in. So it's super hydrating this one as well as obviously exfoliating. Okay, cool. So I can leave this on for up to 20 minutes. So that's absolutely perfect because my dinner will be ready by then. I'm gonna go and wash my hands. Right, so face mask is on. Um, I'm just gonna chill for the next few minutes. 
I'm gonna find something to watch on Netflix. I have been watching Emily in Paris, um, just because I really wanted something that I could just switch off to, and there were only 30 minute episodes, it sounded absolutely perfect, and I adore Lily Collins. I think she's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I never put the lid back on. But guys, I'm just not getting into it. And I feel really bad to say it because there's nothing, I don't know, there's nothing offensive about it at all, but it's just not for me. Um, I don't know if it's a bit too young for me. I don't know. I'm just kind of watching it like, it's kind of making me cringe a bit. So that's nothing to do with it being too young. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm just not into it. So I'm trying to find something else to watch on Netflix. And I, I'm actually thinking about just watching Notting Hill tonight, the movie, because it's my all-time favourite film and I could watch it a million times and never get bored. But I would love a series to get into, so if you do have any recommendations or suggestions, just put them in the comments down below. I love how I'm just having a really normal conversation with a face mask on. My mum just texts me saying that they've got a new duck um, in the garden and Daisy May has called it Fairy. Cute. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll probably see you when the food is ready. Random bit of yoga practice. I just felt like practicing my hand handstands. I can do headstands, but handstands is like my main goal right now. And I'm just doing a little bit of practice against the wall. So I thought I would show you guys where I'm at. say it's a matter of time a thousand days and the sun won't shine before i come what i really want to be able to do i love how i'm just doing this again with the face mask on but what i really want to do is when you do a handstand against the wall and then you drop your hips so your legs are like flat against the wall so you're in this kind of like shape like this legs down and then your back arches down with your hands straight and it looks so much easier when you see other people that do it. As soon as I try, I just, I don't know, I feel like my chest can't go like forward enough. My arms want to be here, but you need to be like there. Just need to keep practicing, because um, that's what it was like with my headstand. I was like, I really want to do a headstand, but I can't. And then practiced for a couple of weeks and then could do it. And now it's like super, super easy. So I'm going to give it one more go. And I'm happy. Nothing's going to stop me I'm making my way home I'm making my way For your love I will go far I will get there, it's my goal By the end of the yoga course I'll be able to do at least a handstand I might not be able to do the whole flat arch thing but I'll get there so, kind of burnt the top. We've got some nice crispy bits there. To be fair, I didn't realise the alarm on the oven doesn't work. Uh, so there you go. It's okay. I like it crispy. I'm just going to put this on a plate. Um, bath will be done by the time I finish this because it's a really like slow tap, so I've learnt from experience. This is smelling absolutely incredible. You need to look at this. They look deceivingly small when they're in their boxes, but... The portions are so good, I love it. It smells absolutely incredible. It smells really like garlicky and oniony. We've got sweet potato on the top, um, mushrooms, I think they're lentils and spinach. Bath is all ready. I've got my candles lit over there. And I have found um, Enola Holmes to watch. I've heard good things about it. Um, I think, is it a movie? I actually don't, yeah, it's a movie. I didn't know then whether it was a series. Uh, so yeah, just gonna watch that in the bath. That bath was so lovely. Um, I only got through halfway through the film. I really like it though, it's very, very good. Um, Millie Bobby Brown is amazing. She's great, I loved her in Stranger Things, as did everyone. Um, I'm just going to apply my Multi-V Elixir. Can you see? There we go, I don't know if you can see. This is the Smart Skin Multi-V Elixir few drops and while I'm gonna chat to you I'm going to use my face tool to just release any tension um, I hold a lot of tension in my jawline here and all the way through like my neck like here 
if I press that, oh, it's so tight, um, but it feels good, like releases it. So I'm using my Multi V Elixir, which has so many oils in there that are high in antioxidants and they protect the skin. So this is what I'm using. This is by Herbivore, it comes in this little pouch. How cute is that? And every now and again, when I have a bit of a wellness evening, like tonight, I use this and I mainly start from this side and you don't have to apply too much pressure I'll show you I'm gonna just chat while I'm doing it but just quickly so you know what I'm doing I'm just like starting inwards going outwards and then eventually I'll pull downwards and the, oh wow it's so tight here just very gently just pulling downwards and then I'll start up here just basically starting from the middle of the face and going outwards all the way along here it's really nice to get into the brow bone as well Oh, that's lovely. You've got little ridges there. Anyway, my wellness evening tonight. I haven't done anything particularly significant. Like, I haven't spent loads of money on going to a spa. I haven't got any, like, crazy equipment. I mean, I've got stuff like this, but, you know, it's in the comfort of your own home. And they're very basic things, like having a nice meal and um, having a bath, watching a movie, and all of those things are very, very basic, but I think for me, having a night for myself is all about staying present with those things. So making conscious decisions to put yourself first. And I think when you do those tiny little things throughout your day or evening um, for you to make you feel good and feel better, that's when it becomes a real like self-love, self-care themed evening, you know? And you can do this in the day and just staying present and always, not always putting yourself first, that sounds like it's, it's being selfish, but learning to consider you a bit more. I think it's something we're all guilty of, putting others before us. Um, and I think a lot of it can come down to not feeling worthy. And I think the last few months I have been focusing on me. And it feels really nice. <laughs> like putting myself first and actually thinking, do you know what, what's best for me today? Even things like, what do I actually want to do today? Or what's good for me? What works for me? And it's incredibly empowering. I've just found it quite liberating, really, um, being able to put myself first. And, um, like, obviously I've gone through a really strange time the last few months. And do you know what? I've actually received quite a lot of criticism on my, mainly Instagram, private messages, saying that I'm pretending to be okay and saying that I should stop faking how I'm feeling on social media and stop pretending that I'm happy and that I need to face everything that's happened and all of this. I just think that's really sad on those people to be honest um, because do you know what, genuinely, I feel really great <laughs> and I know it's crazy, I know it's weird and I went through a really, really bloody tough time in the summer, but how I got to where I am now, in a relatively short amount of time, I completely agree, it's been, yeah, not long at all, but how I feel like I got to where I am now, is because I focused on everything at the time, I really faced it all head on, and I had all of my little like self-care um, approaches in my day, daily life and I was in a really fortunate position that I was back home in Sussex with my family and I had all the time to focus on me um, and kind of not suppressing anything and not running away from how I was feeling when everything happened just enabled me to get that done and heal, like heal. And healing isn't about getting it done, it can take years. And I, you know, I'm not in denial about what's happened. I am fully prepared for 
this to be a roller coaster and I'm sure I will absolutely have my moments and I still have my moments of course um but I think not running away from everything and facing it and putting myself first um during those weeks during the summer really helped me this is really helping me right now wow the tension that I hold here is insane I think I must grind my teeth at night or something, like this is mad. I haven't done this in a few days. And it's really nice to like take that downwards as well. It's lovely. It, I, I think what this can do, a lot of people use this um, to soothe the skin, to release any blockages and I think to contour your face as well. Whether it actually does all of those and has been scientifically proven is another thing, I don't know. But at the end of the day, it just feels so nice. <laughs> so it doesn't even really matter really to me. I just love how it feels. Um, this is probably really weird what I'm doing right now while I'm talking about something quite serious, but this is so therapeutic for me. <laughs> I'm gonna end up with a really red face probably in a minute. So yeah, that's where I am right now. Um, I feel really happy where I am. Um, I've moved to a part of London that I used to and it feels like I'm home again. I've got to know all the, like, the local cafes and people that work there and you know when you just find your like neighbourhood and there's such a lovely vibe and energy and like I literally walk down the road and can pop into a cafe or a shop and people are like hi Naomi and I'm like hey Charles or like <laughs> whatever like it's just so nice and I love where I'm living right now I've got the most incredible support network which is it's been made harder obviously with the new restrictions um so not able to like physically see them um as much well, I haven't seen them at all since the restrictions but we can technically still go out to parks and stuff but it's so cold <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do um, but I've got an amazing support network and work is great launching smart skin has been so exciting just everything just feels like it's clicking into place and I don't know if this is a weird thing to say but I kind of feel like I've got a part of me back and I don't know, I never knew I lost it but I just feel like I've got a part of myself back and I think that's why people have noticed um, I just feel really happy so I'm sorry to the people that are messaging me saying <laughs> they think I'm faking it and it you know, whatever else it was that they were saying, but at the end of the day, I'm not faking anything. I've literally posted photos of me crying. <laughs> like, when I have a bad day, I will tell you I'm having a bad day. I keep it real, guys. Um, but when I'm having a good day, I'm not gonna hide it. I feel great, and I'm gonna share that positivity. So that's where I'm at. Um, stopped with that whole face thing. I forget what these are called. What a random video this is. This is me rambling on, but just felt like sharing a few things. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video now. I'm gonna go and get some sleep. I'm so, so tired. Um, that yoga, like, we only practice physically for two hours a day. Um, with like, I guess like bits and bobs thrown in like to suddenly get up and practice the splits or whatever So most of it is sat down on the yoga mat. So you would think super chill like you're spending I mean it was 40 hours this week sat down on a mat That is tiring like the amount of new information that you're taking in is so tiring I've been getting back here every night just like oh, Completely zoning out. So yeah, I'm gonna go and get an early night and I will see you guys soon. I'm sorry this isn't going up on a Sunday. I've had my yoga and blah 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 blah. blah. I'm not I'm not even gonna go into it because you know already just yoga course, blah blah blah. Um so yeah, thank you so much for watching. Well done if you made it to the end. This was a random video, but there you go. <laughs> I'll see you soon guys. Bye.